Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. So a little bit of a reminder here of what happened last time. So we were able to capture a city from the Russians, however at the same time we lost a city to the French. And beyond that, ah yes, we were also able to sign a alliance with the Italians, so the Italians will be on our side this time around for this World War One. With that, our main goal is still to try and lure out the Russian army, meet it in open battle, defeat it, and then move over to deal with the French threat, reconquering towns and so on. So, with that said, let's go ahead and head out and try and find the Russian army. So we're right outside the town we just captured. I'm thinking we're gonna head over to the next one, a bit deeper into Russian territory, and we'll see if the Russians turn up. I have reduced the amount of damage I should take to 10% compared to sort of the normal 100%. So hopefully I'll not get shot down like I did last time where I got, I got one shot at. So we got five recruits this time around. Uh, reinforcement is well trained though. But five recruits. I imagine that our sort of resupply system is a bit of little bit overwhelmed by the amount of losses that we took last time around. As we took in total I think it was four hundred casualties. Where in which 250 was actually killed soldiers, if I recall. Uh, so it might take a while for that to replenish. But it looks like everyone's back at roughly full strength. And I'm coming up to full strength as well. So that's pretty good. One thing that I probably should change here is the higher up in this order the units are. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like... The first units that get deployed are the ones here. And then it continues to go down. We're going to go infantry. How about get some started getting some Jaegers. So we split this off. Kind of 50-50. With that, let's hit this town. So it has a lot more garrison than the last one we hit. The other one had 150. This one has 180. Still, I'm only really interested... In sieging these places to try and lure the Russian army to come out and face us, we'll meet them in open battle. But if I if if it goes to that, we'll move all the way to Warsaw if that's the case. That gives us uh, a lot of towns to, 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 that becomes incorporated to us, and that gives us like a lot of leeway to head over and deal with the French. Like we have. There's, it doesn't matter if we lose a few, start losing a few towns to the Russians as we move over to deal with the French. Because we've, we're already sort of on the plus side, as it were. Anyways, let's start laying siege to this t town. And hopefully, um, the Tsar comes out to meet us. Okay, so really quickly here, I want to just stop because uh, you might have missed it. But Genoa, French Republic has taken Genoa from the Kingdom. Oh, they, there they are. Okay, so my plan worked by allying with Italy because the French are now going after the Italians. They've taken Genoa, which leaves my frontier, you know, safe. But here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. The Russians have turned up. Let's go ahead and see what is the numbers. I want to know what are the numbers. Okay, so we have... Almost 3,000 men. We would have had 3,000 men if it weren't for the siege we had. Against 1,500 Russians. So that's really good. The thing is, I I was expecting a battle like this to come in. So I upped the max level of troops on the field to 1,000. I don't know if it's going to crash the game. But I want a lot of troops on the field. 
Let's see how this goes. So, let's start the battle. The only thing bad thing here is my character hasn't fully recovered. So, I'd probably just stay back as much as possible and not try and get involved. Which is a shame. I, I want to be like the super character a little bit where I can, you know, at least tank a few shots. Not go down in one random out of nowhere on the big bloody battlefield. It's one thing when I ride straight into a machine gun and that kills me. But a random shot out of nowhere takes me out when there's nowhere to hide on the big, you know, whatever. Uh, you guys want to see this fight? Let's get into it. Right, so let's get out in formation and let's take a look at what we have. So we have 80! 80 light infantry. Damn. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have then the three infantry in front with the lights in the back. We got five machine guns and then we've got our two groups of artillery. Hopefully they actually fixed the artillery or set it up so it's actually artillery this time around. And not... Oh, that's the... Is that machine gun I'm moving around? Yeah, it's the machine gun I'm moving around. Great. Uh, I was move. I want to move the cavalry around. Look at the amount of troops. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of generals in all of this. But okay, let's see. Yeah, the Russians are advancing on us, which we like. So we're gonna move. Okay, is that Russian cavalry? I think it is. They're pulling back. Let's move first group up. Second. And then, as the Russians are moving like that, I want third out as a flank. And then we anchor the line with the lights. And then we bring up the MGs to be positioned right here. I'm gonna move the groups up. Look at the amount of troops. I love this. This is how it is. This is how it's supposed to be. Now, there's definitely not a thousand men on the field. There's close to 400, so I guess there's an actual limit. The mod puts a limit. I can't actually edit the limit, even though I wish I could. I guess it's for my own good, is probably what it is. Let's have a uh, second group tilted slightly here on the hill. And then the third. I kind of want them kind of far back out there. And then we have the massive 80 man light group. I think what we're gonna do in next battle is we're gonna switch it up so we have instead of three infantry, we have two infantry and two lights. So we split it up like that. Let's go ahead and dig in, shall we? We found our spots. Let's go ahead and dig in. The thing is, I kind of need to take part here in the battle because I need to shoot something. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to gain any experience. I don't think, or not as much as I should be. Also, the artillery did the art the artillery is all howitzers. It's all messed up just because it's all all you know the like the extra troops, the generals' troops. Anyways, there's no way the Russians going to break through here. They'll have to break through two like, trench lines to get through. I don't know why you guys are shooting. There's no way you're going to be able to hit anything. So, so far we've lost three men to about 30 Russians. Actually, 40 Russians. So that's roughly the kind of loss to win ratio we had. Oh, the accuracy on this is not great, is it? Oh wait, is this one? What is this? Oh, it's a... Okay, I didn't realize the rifle I'd bought was this old. Oh, I think I actually hit someone. And I gained level 3. That's perfect. I... I'm gonna need something more accurate now. Oh wait, do, I do actually have some Russians making it up, making it up all the way over there. The Russians are pulling back. Hold your fire. 
they're all pulling back. There's a lot actually up here on the ridge. You can see on the map, they're getting a lot closer. The entire Russian army is pulling back. I don't want them to pull back and dig in. So I'm going to allow them to get closer. And then we're going to see about shooting them all down. Right, hello there, flags and lots of generals on horseback. They just, like, they made it so close over here. Behind this hill. Yeah, look at that. Okay, are they, sh I'm pretty sure they're, since I'm the most forward unit, I guess they're shooting at me. Which I don't like, so I'm going to move back. Let's see, the Russians are re- Organizing. Whoopsie daisy, there goes a few generals. Okay, let's take a look. See, the Russians are organizing themselves for another attack. We've got one of their machine gunners moving over there. So, right now, they've lost about 50 men. 50 dead, actually 60 men close to it. While we have lost 3 wounded, 3 dead. And the 3, no, actually 13 dead. I, it split them between us and allies. So my own party has managed to lose 3. Which, given the numbers here, out of 3,000, I don't know how I've man, my group has managed to lose that many. Maybe I should just buy something like an old sharps rifle or something that has a hundred accuracy. Or I should go for the iron sight mode, if that is actually any good. When I used it in the other one, it wasn't actually that all that good. Maybe I should just mount up and when the enemy is retreating, I ride out and cut them down. Right, the, the Russians are really close now. And... Oh, they're charging. Okay, now we'll fire. Shoot them. Kill them all. They made it almost to the line here. Just keep it up, lads. The worst part here is next round of battle we will be attacking and the enemy will be digging in and that's going to be difficult I keep shooting here I don't know if it's uh, particularly effective I hit one shot we know that much so I have 200 men ready you know what no, not fired well. Fired my command. Except the artillery should continue firing. They can fire it well. What I want to do now is they're down in the valley here, right? Third company. Close off their venue of escape. Move up here. Ready to attack. We can see the Russians gathering here. So here comes third regiment's gonna line up here. The Russians are closing in. Am I gonna be bold? Move out and cap a few of these. Not shooting for us yet. Neither am I hitting anything. Alright, come on! Give me a hit. Definitely need a more accurate rifle. If that artillery shell had tossed them to the ground, I definitely would have gotten them. I'm pretty sure I got that one. Now! Fire it well! And not only that... Everyone forward! Everyone charge! Now we'll get them. Pretty sure I got a few here. 
I should probably enable so I see if I actually hit anyone. Shit. Great, I got hit by my own artillery. Wonderful. I should have stayed on the horse. I'll allow my men to slaughter their artillery crews back there. I should have stayed on my horse, then I could have... This is what I... I then I would have been able to ride up to them and shoot them. Probably one, one of my own rifles. Anyways, there's no way I'll ma make it over there, but here we go. First part of the battle is complete, and it was a complete victory. Here we go, here is the result. So when we look at this, for my... The, I, my losses are all out, actually. Allied casualties, mostly uh, it's generals that are wounded, turned up to 28, 3 killed, 18 wounded, 7 routed. For the enemy, however, we have a total of 196 losses, 154 killed, 35 wounded, and 7 routed. Now comes the second part, in which we are on, we're going to be on the offensive. I'm going to switch this, so we got two light companies. Just because, um, rather than having three smaller infantry groups and one giant light group, we actually have a little bit more to work with. For each group, get, gets bigger, except for the light group. And yeah, whatever. You understand. I also took the time to actually ride up. Oh yeah, I found a horse. Ride up and murder the artillery crew. So I actually made it to level 4. Very good. Anyways, let's start the battle. Right, same as before. Gonna go into lines. So it's about 30 per group. Right, no, wait, what? Why is first group 145 infantry? Why the other three groups are small now? How does that work? I thought it would be... I thought it would be... F this would fix it. Clearly not. Let's see. Is that cavalry? Yes. Okay, so yet again, it's... Uh, I mean, this turned out worse. Because the infantry group is 145. Jeez. Okay, the Russians are drawing a, a huge line. They are digging in also, but not nearly enough. Look at how they've dug in. Okay, now they are digging in. Okay, so they've made one massive line. Have they machine guns in it? They should be. They usually place them by the corner. So we got one machine gun over there. And is that another machine gun, I think? No? He's just... Nothing. Right, there they've got another one in there. Okay, so they actually got more machine guns over on the right side than on the left. And then in the back, we've got nothing really dangerous. And they've got a single piece of artillery. So I definitely have an artillery advantage, which is great. Can go ahead and pound them for a bit. Right. Um, we're going to work the flanks as much as possible. Let's start by moving up the main group then. So th I guess this one will uh, be opposite the enemy group. And then we take the smaller companies off on the flank route together with the machine guns. Let's see. All the art Yeah, it's three howitzers that I have. If I move them closer, will them be more accurate? Like, I've got plenty of uh, space to move these guys forward. And so far, oh, we have actually lost more. They've only lost two. Now, I do a have a hundred men advantage here. Okay, I don't like the fact that they're shooting here. We are returning fire. Infantry, actually, can I order you to lie down, everyone? 
I don't want you to shoot. Okay, some guys don't want to lie down, but everyone else lies down. So I don't want them really to engage with each other just yet. Okay, so these three groups have moved over here. Together with the machine guns. I want to see if I can place the machine guns. If I have the three groups charge over the hill here. Look at that. That's perfect. Look at how close this hill is. They won't be able to shoot at us until here. If I place my machine guns right down here at the same time as these three groups charge. Could work, right? Could work. So, have we incurred any more losses? Not really. Artillery has been unaffected, but then again, I've moved them forward just now. Right, let's have the three groups. It doesn't matter if they get tired, we'll have time to set it up anyways. So I'm going to move the three smaller groups over here then, together with the machine guns. And then the plan is, I think we move up the main group first dig in, and then we'll have that back and forth in between those two groups. Then the other three groups will be sent over the hill here to attack in a flank position. And uh, once they're into it, you know, charging straight into this, the machine guns will be moved up, set up right here so they can shoot just straight down through here. And the fact that there, there's a trench there doesn't matter. And it'll all hopefully work out. Hopefully. I have now moved over to the flank position. Our troops are ready. As we can see, they're regaining their stamina as well. So that's good. So we'll enact the first part of our plan. Which is to move in the first group. So the first group will be ordered to take position at will. Crest the hill and dig in. Bets on how many men I lose before we're able to dig in. At this point we're at 144. Looks like the lances were put in with the infantry as well, so everything's kind of topsy-turvy here. At this point I've only lost a single, like, two soldiers. Like, I'm gonna be bolder then. If we're, if that's what I'm losing, then I can afford to move the tren our trench line closer. Right, the enemy's doing really poorly and shooting us. I don't know what I've been worried about. Like, at the start at we, we moved up, we had 144. This group has only lost, what, five people moving into this position and now we've got trench on trench. And we're kind of equalizing in terms of the amount of losses here. And the enemy is kind of being held down as we move through here. Which is really great. Because it's time to spring the trap. Let's see, first company. Yes. Oh, look at that. They're running. Dude, shit. We're, lo we're losing the momentum. They're all running. We're losing them. Machine gunners up onto the ridge. They're all running. All right, shit, wrong button. Second group, charge. Third group, charge. Fourth group, charge. And then just make sure the machine gunners are put in the spot right there. Ominous music as the entire Russian army is in full retreat. Why do I even have the first line there? First line over the top. Everyone forward. Everyone forward. They're all falling apart. 
it's all falling apart for them. I don't know why the morale became so poor. Look at this. Let's not ride into our own machine gun fire here. Or oh, he got massacred. Like the Russian, com Russian army completely fell apart here. Completely unexpected. I was expecting stiff resistance. Well, that was that was a pretty good hit, and that one was pretty good as well. <laughs> Once again, I'm I'm taken down by the enemy, but my troops are now charging across the entire line against the Russians who have been forced out of their trench. The thing though is, why do I keep charging? Like, there's no longer need, and the only thing that happens here is we probably incur more losses by uh, moving spread out like this. Or like we're forming into uh, dangerous formation, losing a lot of extra troops as we move forward there. And of course the accuracy in everything is reduced as we move forward. Cut them down. The light troops here firing away at the Russians. Let's go ahead and check on the Okay, they didn't actually make it into the trench. They kind of just made it almost to the trench. Oh, so the, wait, this is a light group as well. Oh, so it wasn't any... That wa that's why there's so there were so many in the second group of the lights. Or the first group. I guess that's also... No, this should not be lights. I don't know why this happens. So odd. Such a mess. But it, it worked. It actually worked out. Because first group was r precisely what we needed at the right time. I would for sure thought that I was going to lose so many men in this battle. Because the enemy was going to be in the defensive. But no. We were actually able to defeat them. We're not too bad in terms of our losses. It, it's basically one to one, just that a lot more of our troops are wounded compared to the Russians, which have many more uh, that are killed. This is the point I should have rode in and, you know, cut down the guy so I could gain some XP. Not riding straight into the f fire. I never learn, do I? I never learn. Let's move up the flanking groups. Get this over with. And here we have the result of the second part of this battle. We have one wounded and one routed for my party. I'm being me being the one got wounded. Uh, for our allies, 98 men, 62 killed, 29 wounded, 7 routed. For the enemy, we have a total of 154 casualties, where of which 137 were killed, 17 were wounded. Um, as I'm too wounded to take part in the battle, we're going to order the troops forward without, uh, you know, to attack without me. Um, but in the part the parts that I was able to take part in of these battles we lost what? less than what? 150 men compared to the Russians I don't know how many really they've lost I lost count on how many anyways we, we've been doing well that's what I'm trying to say and hopefully that'll continue so order the attack for the first one we lose 80 men compared to this 228 
It's 40, 50 killed to 150 kill roughly in terms of that. With 31 wounded on our side and 86 wounded on their side. So yeah, it's going well. It's going to continue to go well. I'm pretty sure we'll just ransack through them and it'll be a complete decisive victory against the Russian army. The kills continue to mount on the Russian side. At this point in the battle we lost 47 men, 34 killed, 30 wounded, while the enemy lost 202 killed and 71 wounded. Yeah, it's the bag or what, what am I gonna say? It's definitely, yeah, we're winning. That's what I'm trying to say. And here we have the final part. We have our men have fought bravely and defeated the enemy. For the last statistics, we lost five men, three killed, two wounded, against 45 of the enemy, 21 killed, 24 wounded. Which, uh, and now we'll see how many of their generals we take captive. The thing though is, I imagine the Russian army is it was at roughly same strength as us, so. We have taken out half the Russian army. There's another part somewhere where it is roughly the same size, I imagine. Um, I guess the good thing is we put a lot of, like half, half the Russian army is put out of commission. And since the French are now over fighting the Italians, they've taken Genoa, I think we're going to continue fighting the Russians and... See if we can't take even more land from them, giving ourselves a real good buffer against them and really like diminishing their power in the process. And there's the battle. So, at the end of the battle, I was able to take five enemy generals prisoner. We have gained quite a bit of experience for our own force and. We're hopefully ready to take this town right afterwards and we'll continue to push through against the Russians. But then at some point I want to go back to the Western Front and we want to attack and take back Saarbrücken. And uh, since we're fighting the Belgians, I'm thinking we're just going to completely overrun them. Like completely remove Belgium. Um, and then take everything on this side of the river is probably the first goal here. But looking at the time, I'm going to end it right here. So I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.